welcome to another round of Super Easy Trivia. That's right. I'm your host, Bobby Bones. This is America's hottest new game show. So hot that if this game show was a girl from my high school, she for sure would have laughed at the thought of me asking her out. That's right, folks. That's how hot this game is right here. Thank you very much. I would also like to say the rumors you read about me online this week are not true. I am not pregnant with Tristan Thompson's baby. I am, however, pregnant with our guest Jordan Davis's baby. We had a not so social distance hookup. We expect it coming from his beard sometime soon. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> All right, welcome to the game. We have a lot of players here. For the first time in the history of Super Easy Trivia, we have a returning champ dressed in red, white, and blue. This is Mike Signs. He is the only champion to ever be returning on the show. So there is an extra bounty if you beat him. Round one is generic questions. Get the question right, move on to the next round. Here we go. Our listener, Leslie, are you ready up there? Yes. Where do you live? I live in Lubbock, Texas. All right, shout out Lubbock, here you go. Who played Jack Sparrow in Pirates of the Caribbean? Um, Johnny, Johnny Depp. Correct, just in time. <laughs> I think it's so hard. Let's go over to T. Tatro. Hey, T. Tatro, what's your name over there? What's your first name? Emily and Bentley. Emily and Bentley. Okay, we got two for one. Okay, Emily, where do you live? Uh, Edmond, Oklahoma. Edmond, Oklahoma represent. What's the state capital of Nashville? Sorry, what's the state capital of Tennessee? I gave you the answer. That's correct. Nice job. You're on to the next <laughs> round. Go. All right, let's go over to our returning champion, Mike Signs. Hey, Mike, what two colors are linked to Halloween? Black and orange. That is correct. Let's go to my friend Lauren Petrowski in Austin, Texas. Hey, Lauren, what's the name of the talking snowman in Disney's Frozen? Hola. Correct. Let's go over to listener Valeria. Hey, where do you live, Valeria? I think you may be on mute. Can you guys hear her? No, I can't hear. Valeria, blink twice if you're in trouble. We can't hear you, Valeria. Oh, no. That's correct. The answer was zero. That's right, zero plus zero is zero. We'll expect you to have your audio when we come back around, Valeria. You can do it. Let's go down to my co-host, Amy. Amy, your question is, who plays the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air? Will Smith. Will Smith is correct. Let's go to country music singing sensation, Chris Jansen. Hey, Chris, where are you located right now? Hey, brother, Seaside, Florida. In Seaside, Florida. Chris, it's an easy question. What sport does Tom Brady play? Football. That is football. Also playing in Florida this year. Over to Jordan Davis, country music singer, big old beard. Hey, Jordan, what state lies to the south of Georgia? Florida. That's correct. Florida questions in a row. We roll into the next yeah. round. Nice job, everybody. A quick mic check for Valeria. Valeria, you there? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. We're back in the game. Yay. <laughs> all right. You're all on to the next round. We're okay. going to play Name That Disney Character. I will show you a character behind me. All you have to do is name the character. Leslie, you're up first. Name hey. the character. Snow White. Snow White is correct. Ooh, over to you. Can you name that character? Nemo. Nemo is correct. <laughs> Returning champ Mike Syme. It's a tough one. Name that character. Bell. Correct. Ooh. That, that, that made me nervous. I, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, me too. Let's go over to Lauren. Lauren. Uh, that's Minnie. Correct. Name that Disney character, Valeria. Goofy. Goofy is correct. Let's go to my co-host, Amy. Amy, who is that? Cinderella. Cinderella is correct. Chris Jansen, who is that? Oh, gosh. Uh, the girl from Frozen. Um... <laughs> you got it, buddy. <laughs> My kid walks around singing this all the time. Um, it's the girl from Frozen, right? <laughs> judges, we accept the girl from Frozen. Yes. Oh, the judges are being very nice this round. <laughs> Thank you. That is, that is correct. I believe that is Elsa from Frozen. Elsa from Frozen, right. All right, Jordan Davis, can you name this one? Uh, the mermaid. Ariel, Ariel, Ariel. Okay, we'll take them all. We're, it's a controversial second round, but everybody's still in. <laughs> now let's go. She to is round number head. three, where people finally start to get eliminated in head to head. All right, listener Leslie, you're up first. Who would you like to take on head to head? Amy. Oh, 
So what will happen is I will read a question, yell your name as the buzzer. Do you understand the rules of head to head? Yes. It's called the challenge. Leslie, Amy, here's your question. What Sesame Street character lives in a trash can? Leslie. Leslie. Grover. Oh. No. no. Amy, lean on up to the to the camera and tell us what Sesame Street character lives in a trash can. Uh, Oscar the Grouch. Oh, correct. Oh. Leslie, I'm sorry. It's so hard to say goodbye <laughs> to the LBK. Love it. Bye, Larry. Wait, bye to Leslie. Bye. 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 Tatro, who would you like to challenge? Chris Jansen. Oh, Ooh. thanks. You went after a celebrity. <laughs> it's Tatro and Jansen. Yell your name as the buzzer. Here we go. What's the state capital of Georgia? Jansen. Jansen. Atlanta. Correct, Jansen. You're still in the game. What would you Thank like you. to say there, Tatro family? It's great to be on this show. Mm, and, and what's your name, dude? Ben? Is your name Ben? Bentley. Bentley. Well, I'm going to call you Ben for short. Ben, when you turn 21, hit me up. We'll be sure to hit the same place we'd hit now because I'm lame too. All right, buddy. See you later. See ya. All right, Mike Signs, you're up. Uh, let's go, Jordan Davis. Ooh, the champion. Let's do it, Mike. Here we go. Jordan Davis. Yell your name as the buzzer. What's the name of Winnie the Pooh's donkey friend? Je Jordan. Jordan. Eeyore. Eeyore is correct. Oh. The returning champ has been dethroned. I'm Mike Sign, say something to Mike, your I'm sorry to do it. Man. I mean, to be the champ, you got to beat the champ. So congratulations, Jordan. Yeah. Goodbye. Hey, proud to be an American. I'm proud of that jumpsuit, buddy. <laughs> there he goes. All right, Lauren Petrowski, it's you versus our listener, Valeria, to see who gets to the next round. Nervous. Are you ready? Lauren, I see you taking deep breaths. Are you pregnant over there? Yeah, I'm like very close to giving birth, also nervous. If you go, if you have the baby on this show, I'll give you the 100 bucks for free. Okay. All right, let me know. All right, here we go. Yell your name as your buzzer. In the nursery rhyme, Jack and Jill, who went up the hill to fetch a pail of water? Lauren. No. Lauren. Jack and Jill. Correct. Trick question and you still got it. Valeria, I'm sorry. <laughs> Was it your mic's fault? No, yeah. It still I didn't... wasn't. Oh, no. I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> Goodbye, Valeria. And Bye, Valeria. Me. Now, don't forget, you're playing for $500 to the charity of your choice. We're going to the next round, everybody! <laughs> All right, the next round is name that famous band. Oh, I will show you a band. Just name them. Up first, Lauren. Lauren! Lauren, Lauren you're up. Hey, hey, Lauren, that one's just for you. I love the passion. Yeah, yeah. I love the heart. I love it. But that one's just for you. Go ahead. Dixie Chicks. Dixie Chicks is correct. Amy, can you name this band right here? Oh, uh, Alabama. Correct. Can you name this band, Chris Jansen? Uh, Backstreet Boys. That is correct. Hey, Jordan Davis, who's that? The Beatles. That oh. is correct. <laughs> Nice hey, guy. Lauren, who's that? Uh, Hoodie and the Bluefish. That is correct. Hey, Amy, who's that? Room 5. That is correct. Hey, Chris Jansen. In sync. <laughs> correct. <laughs> hey, Jordan Davis. Oh, Spice Girls, come on. <laughs> that is correct. You're all on to the next round. Nice job, everybody. All right, let's Damn. take a second and talk to our guest, Chris Jansen. Tell us a little bit about what you're working on right now. I'm uh, sitting in the bedroom of the done video house where he shot it and been writing some songs. I was outside about five minutes ago shucking oysters for the kids and uh, just having some good times, man. And uh, Chris's song Done is on the charts right now. Chris, do you know where it's at exactly on the chart this week? Uh, last, Kelly told me it was at 18 this past week, so we're thankful for that and uh, 18 and rising, so we're, we're, we're excited about it. Be sure to check out that song from Chris Jansen called Done. Thanks, Let's buddy. go talk to Jordan Davis now. Hey, Jordan, I hear you have a record coming out this week. What's the name of that thing? I do. I actually just self-titled it. Just a six-song EP. Uh, yeah, just self-titled uh, six songs that I'm really fired up to, to get out. I'm excited wow. about it. Wow, how boring. All right, well, so anyway, on. I'm just kidding, Jordan. So, <laughs> oh, my God. Six songs. Uh, list me some of those songs real quick people can search for. Uh, almost Maybes, 
a church and a Chevy, and Detours, Corny Moore, Little Lime, and Room My Weekend. There it is right there, Jordan Davis. Check out that Jordan Davis EP that's out now. All right, guys, it's the final round. This is true or false. All you have to do is tell me if it's true or false. Lauren, looks like she's doing Lamas right now. Lauren, are you okay for this? Okay. <laughs> okay, Lauren, you're up Very first. Very close over here. Lauren, hummingbirds can fly backwards. True or false? False. False. Oh, I'm sorry. That's incorrect. I think her water just broke, so we got to go. Lauren, you have been eliminated. Good to see you, my friend. Bye, Lauren. Yeah. Good luck with that, Bye, baby. Finishing in fourth place, Lauren in Austin, Texas. There she goes. Amy, true or false? Most of the human population have blue eyes. Oh, I feel like... I feel like majority probably has not blue, so I'm gonna say false. Correct, it is brown. Chris Jansen, true or false? There are 350 degrees in a circle. 350 degrees. False. Correct, there are 360 degrees. Hey, Jordan Davis, Disney World is located in Florida. True or false? Yes, true. Correct. Amy, back up to you. The largest organ inside the human body is the heart. The largest inside the human body is the heart. True or false? Well, the skin is the largest organ, but I'm assuming that's why you're emphasizing inside. The largest organ inside the human body is the heart. True or false? But is Skin no. does not count. It's on the outside. The so heart. I'm for you. I know, I feel like I, I'm trying to picture the liver and the kidney and the heart. I feel like that's, I feel like your heart's pretty big, but, but that's false. It is false. The liver is the largest. Yes. Chris Jansen, there are 25 letters in the English alphabet. True or false? False. There are 26. You're right. Hey, Jordan, adult dogs and adult humans have the same number of teeth. True or false? Adult dogs and adult humans have the same number of teeth. True or false? False. Correct, you're all on to sudden death. Congratulations, everybody. Give yourself a big round of applause here. I'm now, seriously playing... missed everyone except for mine. You're playing for 500 bucks to the charity of your choice. We will now do best animal sound. I'm drawing from the bucket here and I have Pig is the animal you will be doing the best impression of. Let's see who does the best pig sound. Up first will be Jordan Davis. Jordan, let me hear that pig. <laughs> Sorry, I can't. Solid snort, I'm solid good. snort. There he is, there he is. <laughs> Chris Jansen, over to you. Let's hear that pig. Oh, okay, oh my God. Sorry, that's funny, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Was that a squealing pig? Was that a turkey? Or was that what? <laughs> <laughs> it was, a, it was a, a tig, which is a cross between a turkey and a pig. Interesting. Interesting. No, no, maybe pigs squeal. You should catch one sometime at a rodeo. It happens. Amy, I feel like this is all yours if you can take it. Can you name, can you do a pig and beat Jordan or Chris? <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty <laughs> Okay, I'm talking to the judges. We're talking about it. The winner is not Chris Jansen. Chris Jansen, we got to say bye to you, but everybody check out Done. It is a wonderful song by my guy, Chris Jansen. Chris, you, stay safe, buddy. See ya. The winner is also not Amy. Amy, yeah. what would you like to say? Son, I, I'll just have to work on my snorting. Work on that squill. We'll see you next time. And there he is, our champion, Jordan Davis. Jordan, what would you like to say? Speech, 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 speech. Dude, I, can, I can't tell you the uh, the excitement that I have right now. I've been I've been following this show uh, for since it's since it start. Uh, so to say that I am a super easy Bobby Bones trivia champion, um, it tops everything I've ever done. There he is, everybody. Go check out his EP, Jordan Davis. It's called Jordan Davis. He's the winner this week on Super Easy Trivia. We'll see you next week, everybody.